Afternoon, guys. How you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. I want to talk to those of you potential home buyers, those of you that want to be home owners the rest of this year and going forward. Investors, they're out here. A lot of you guys are wanting to buy and interest rates are up. It's a fact. Gas is up. Food is up. Everything is up. Inflation is in full effect. It may seem unfair to you, uh, but after today's video, hopefully I give you some tools that you can implement so that you will be able to buy at some point in time in the future. Let's get into it. So how many homes are investors buying in 2023? In the first quarter of 2023, investors purchased 41,000 homes. This is a 49% decline in investor home purchases from the previous year. Going further, it says in the second quarter of 2023, investors purchased 85,000 homes, 98,000 and 82,000 homes from April, May and June, second quarter. However, when compared with the same months in 2019. 2019 is a very important year because that's when stuff was still normal. We're trying to get back to normal. Everything after 2019 up until today, it's not been normal. So if you go back to normal times, the amount of homes that investors have been buying are abnormally high. Gotta hear that. Lastly, it says in the second quarter of 2023, investors bought 23% of low priced homes. And I'm going to say low priced homes is anything under 300,000. I'll just use that as a median because there's a ton of homes out here that are under 300,000. But those that can, again, you're listening to the hype. And the longer you wait, this is my opinion, that prices are going to be higher. However, if interest rates stabilize, aha! What is stabilization in, in your opinion, Robert? I'm glad you asked. If interest rates get back down to about six and a half percent, what you think is going to happen to the price again? They're going to start running. They're going to start going up. Now, here's the deal. What are you saying, Robert? I'm saying if you're on the sideline, here are some things that I think you should be doing to prepare yourself. First thing I would say is, you need to get some education on what it means to own a home. You gotta educate yourself and quit watching all of this foolishness because folks are coming in quietly and they're buying it up and you guys are gonna be renting from it, okay? So here's a source. The CFPB, the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau is free. We the people pay for it. The government, it's a free resource. It deals with credit, anything consumer financial related, credit, all of that. But they got a nice tool here, buying a house, a tool and resources for home buyers. Avail yourself to this, free, free 99. You don't need to talk to no lender. You don't need to talk to no realtor. Educate yourself, do some reading and some research and understand that when you buy a house, it's not going to blow up and you cash it in three months. You're buying it to live in it, to establish, to, to set a foundation, especially if you have children. The number one indicator for a child's success is stability. Stable, steady Eddie, right? Great place to be steady when you're gonna come to the same place all the time and you can implement your program, whatever program that is. All that moving around is not steady. I digress. The CFPB, great place to educate yourself and get some understanding about what owning a home is and what it ain't. Then if you want to go forward, Fannie Mae has a free, everybody loves free, free resource. Take one of these free classes first so that you can educate yourself and get an understanding without any manipulation right? Any agendas, this is free. Give you a good idea and an understanding of how much money you're going to need to get into a home, 
Sellers don't have to pay for anything. No one owes you anything. Home ownership is a privilege. It's not a right. Okay. So Fannie Mae, free home buyer education course. Great one. All these things I'm telling you guys do, I've done it myself. Well, why would you do that, Robert? Because when I'm advising people to do things, I like to know what it is that I'm putting my name behind because that's all I got. Freddie Mac, Credit Smart, Home Buyer You. Now, for those of you that are doing down payment assistance programs and things of that nature, a lot of times these certificates can satisfy that requirement. So you could take these courses and educate yourself on what it really means to be a home buyer and owner and what the requirements are. So that's just number one. Now I'm gonna go back over here to my ugly mug and let's talk about the rest of them. I'm gonna be fairly quick. Uh, you need to gather the documents that you're gonna need. Any lender out here, after you've taken these courses and you've educated yourself, hey, Robert, I understand what it is. We're ready to move forward, okay? Now we need to know and understand how much money we can borrow. Now, if you're paying cash, you don't need to deal with a lender. But if you're going to leverage, if you're going to finance, you don't need to go to the realtor. You need to find a lender that you're going to work with, one that you know, that you like, more importantly, that you try. Then you approach that realtor, proof of income, your pay stubs, once a month, twice a month, bi-weekly. If you're bi-weekly, you need your most three recent ones. Or if you're weekly, that's four. Your four most recent. Your asset statements. What asset statements? Typically, whichever ones you're gonna use to, to fund your down payment and closing costs. Get your asset statements, income, asset statements, most recent 60 days, any cash deposits. Guys, it has to be sourced. It's the Patriot Act, okay? It just can't appear, doesn't work. Anything cash oriented must be sourced. Where did it come from? And we're not gonna take your word. Nobody's gonna take your word, you gotta Show and proof, income, assets, your driver's license and social security card, driver's license, social security card, what else? Tax returns. 1040s are the documents that your preparer uses to prepare. If you're not preparing your taxes, that's the 1040s, 1040. You know what? Let me pull up one other website. IRS.gov is where you want to go, okay? And you want to get your tax records. You see that? Get your tax records and then you fill this out and then you're going to ask for your wage earner records. That's your W-2s, 1099s that you've get, gotten for the two most recent years. And then you want the tax transcripts, the 1040 transcripts, so it can complete the loop. If you do these things and you know these things up front, this is, you hadn't even reached out to a lender yet. No need because you're getting all your ducks in a row. Right. You've educated yourself. You know what's required. You know how much money you need. You've gone through your bank statements. Here's another one. Let me just pull it up since we're doing it. My free annual credit report. Let's do it that way. Bam. Here's another free resource. Get your credit report. Forget the score. Get your credit report from all three agencies. Not, they're not credit bureaus. They're agencies. There's only one bureau that I mentioned on here, and that's the CFPB. That's a government entity. Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax are private companies. They're not government agencies. Get your three reports and go through them. Okay? Here's the game on credit. The most recent 12 months, most important. Find your most recent late. Hopefully you don't have any. And then you say, from this most recent late, I know I need 12 months. Clean credit clean. No lates, no collections. Then you want to look at current or open collections. Depending on where you are, there's statutes of limitation. If you are sued, respond to the suit. Go to court because if not, they get a default judgment and then you got to pay. Okay. We got to We got to own up. You either did it or you did. You either did it or you did. You either did it or you did.
okay? If it's an open collection, if you do not have the ability to pay it off in full, don't reach out to the people. It's hurt you, it's done what it's done. You need to focus on new, establishing new credit. All right, and you don't need 15 different trade lines to do so. If you do have the ability to pay it off, you reach out to them and you want to try to, you'll say, I'll pay it off in full, but I need a deletion letter. If they're not willing to do that, let it ride. Because the further it gets away from you, the less it hurts you. And then when it comes to loan qualifications, you're probably an FHA client. And depending on the balance, we're just going to take a percentage of it and put that payment in your debt to income ratio. And if everything else is intact and you've corrected whatever the issue is, your lack of income or whatever is causing your credit to be negative, you'll be fine. There you go. That's on a regular approval or if you get a manual underwrite. Manual underwrite just requires a couple of other compensating factors. Money cures everything, but you could get it done and you don't have to run around and be in the wilderness and constantly have somebody in your pocket because you are getting taken advantage of. You see what I'm saying? So my free annual credit report.com. Let me go backwards. IRS.gov. Get your transcripts. Freddie Mac has free services. Fannie Mae has free educational services and the CFPB. Free 99. All it requires is your time, which is your most valuable assets. Let's move forward because I know y'all got stuff to do. I'm talking too much. Income, bank statements, taxes, and credit. We hit it all. Now, after you've done all of that, you got it together. Your credit is where it needs to be. I have all my documentation in place. Now, here's the deal. You're either 30, 60, or 90. If you're within a quarter, 90 days of within of, hey, I'm ready to buy. That's when you reach out to your lender. If it's longer than that, no need. You can keep watching and searching. Who is this Robert guy? I don't like him. That's the spice of life. We, we have options. Find someone you like, but listen to what I'm saying. And you should be able to use these tools to know that I'm prepared. Because here's the next key. Once you do find that lender, okay, we're building the team now. And you reach out and you submit that application. Okay, minimum, you should do it at two places. Why? So you can compare apples to apples. That's why. And if somebody else calls me talking about they've been pre-approved and I ask these three questions, did you send them your income, your bank statements, your tax returns? Nah, they just, I just told them what I wanted to tell them on the application and they pulled either a soft inquiry or a hard inquiry and they told me I was approved for, if one more person called me like that, I'm like, man, child, please, you are not approved. You are not approved. Got to submit the information. You got to go through the process. And that's why a lot of us get hoodwinked and get caught up with local is better. Local is not better. Your lender has to have the acumen, the systems, okay? And they got to come to work, man. These folks don't pick up the phone. They always on vacation, on Instagram, here, there, and the third. Why do I say that? Because you guys call me and tell on them all the time. And I'm like, well, that's where you want to go. How can I help you? <laughs> you got caught up with the lights. How can I help you? Because this is what you're going to get. As far as the look is concerned, but your loan experience is going to be lovely. And then once you're over here, you'll never leave. 20 plus years, all praises to the most high. 20 plus years. That's why. Because my name is all I got. So do you? I'm just saying. That's the spice of life. Choice. You got choices. Choose wisely. Get a qualification. Then you could compare the loan estimates. We can do another video and show you how to look at that loan because I'm running a little long. Then you want to get your realtor. Okay. How do you pick a realtor? Is she fine? Is he fine? Oh, they look good. They got a Range Rover. That's not how you pick a realtor. You need to ask how many loans how many sides, how many clients have you helped in the most this year? We'll just say this year because business is down. It's tight. When the last time you closed or helped somebody buy a house, were you able to help negotiate any seller concessions? 
I know it's not, it's not a given, but did you try? That's what you're trying to find out if, if they'll even try. Okay. And then where is your expertise? Cause that's, that professional needs to be a local expert because they need to know where it's at, right? They need to know where the money's going. What part of the city that you need to be in so you can get the most, most bang for your buck. That's who needs to be the local expert. But, but you know what, when you go there and if you follow these steps, you're not having champagne wishes on Coca-Cola budgets. You'll know what your budget is for real, for real, what you could really afford if you go through these steps. That's how you, that's how you close in 14 days. Cause you're not trying to get something that you can't afford and wasting everybody's time. But then when you express to the realtor what it is that you're looking for, boom, that's when their local expertise, nah, you don't want to go over here. And they can only say so much, but if you follow their lead, they'll know how to lead you in the right direction. Remember, no like and trust. Got to trust these folks. Okay. Then last but not least on the team, in my opinion, is an insurance agent. You need a good one. And not these folks out here just selling premiums. I had to get on my insurance agent. I'm like, man, the Lewis's is spending a lot of money with you annually. Why do I have to call you to find out if I had the best insurance on an annual basis? Because see, they know once they got you, they got you. And, and that makes sense. All of you homeowners out there, all you folks with auto loans, how many times did the insurance people call you and say, hey, you know what? Let's see if we can better your position. Because we all know insurance goes up every year. See, that's the kind of insurance agent that you need on your team. Not one to just get you to sign up and know that you're not going to touch it no more. And we just build a book of business that I get paid off of. See, time out for that, man. Time out for that. If you're my customer, you know, we, we talk often. And I'm constantly looking for opportunities to better your position. Because I'm your lender for life. I just didn't say that. That's why I don't have to make all of the lifetime income off you the first time we do business. We get it over time, not the first time or the only time, <laughs> you feel me? So there you have it, man, recap, recap. Prepare, take the home buyer courses, avail yourself to all the free resources. Income, right? Gather your income documents, bank statements, tax returns, credit. Then assemble your team, your lender, your realtor and your insurance agent. Hey man, if you do those things, you're ready to compete. You'll be like, come on, BlackRock. Come on, investor. I'm Red T. What's up? I don't have to ask the seller for 6% seller concessions, title policy, closing costs. And if, uh, or a VA loan, you, you could pay this car off for me because I'm a home buyer and I want a home. Don't work like that. Don't work like that. We grown folks. So that's how we doing it going forward. If I can help you, reach out. Reach out. Better yet, let's do this. This way y'all need to follow me. If I hadn't pissed you off, <laughs> hopefully I haven't, right? Because those that know, know, man, I, I love I love hard, man. If I'm on your team, I'm on your team. You got an ace, baby. And I ain't just saying that. Some other, pope, some other people told me that. They say, bro, you an ace. I said, well, shoot, that's all good. There it is. Follow the channel, man. Lend to USA on YouTube. You feel me? Y'all have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Shabbat's coming up. If you keep the Sabbath, honor it, right? Rejuvenate and get ready, man, because it's up. It's up out here. Everything's up. And if you're waiting on somebody to come save you, mm, my time is up, but I thank you for yours. As I always say, guys, let's be good to one another. Let us let grace abound. And until the next time, peace. Y'all be blessed.